Hey, how's it going YouTube? Influx here, and today I am bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary. This time on the map Nuketown 2025, playing some hardpoint, fast-paced, high-action gameplay. Um, yeah, so I've been having a pretty awesome time playing in this Nuketown 2025 playlist. Really enjoying the mosh pit sort of stuff, and I'm gonna, I'm glad that they don't let you choose the game mode because otherwise people would just keep picking the same same one over and over again. So I'm really glad that they uh, they are really mixing it up on stuff. So yeah, this is just this. Is, it, oh, I know again, theater mode has, doesn't didn't let me record the entire gameplay. So uh, yeah, this is just the first to a really high action packed objective based gameplay. But anyway, um, yeah, today I, I just watched this video about a guy who was pretty much hating on Black Ops 2. And I'm just like, he, he was saying a lot about how the kill streaks take a lot more to get, uh, uh, a lot longer to get, and often the gameplays are a bit slower, I guess. And he was saying how the, it may be the end of some bigger YouTubers, or uh, the bigger YouTubers may not succeed as much because they can't get as good a gameplays as they would like. But Really, I think quite the opposite. Fearcrads, perfect example. He was like the biggest non-objective game player, and and he's just turned into this massive objectively based like player. And it's just he's been beasting up, getting amazing score lines while still playing the objective. I, and I think it just completely contradicts all what he was saying about really slow gameplays with hardly any action and really low KD. Like if. It, it's like a compromise for action versus KD. So, honestly, I think Fear Kratz is a perfect example of the opposite of that. Which, I, and I think it's just, I, I think his problem was that he, um, he just wasn't playing the objective. He wasn't getting a part of the action. Because as you can see, I'm like part of the action all the time here. Like I'm constantly running for that objective, constantly going for the cap, whatever. And I'm just having a ton of fun. And I have to say, this has got to be one of the most fast-paced Call of Duties yet. Because it's just going, like, there's always something happening, always something going on around the map. There's always enemies around you. And I think it's because that Treyarch have added this whole sort of encouragement of objective. Like, I know the idea was first, like, Infinity Ward first implemented it, but not as well as Treyarch. Treyarch has just... Uh, taking it that next step and encouraging people to play objective even more which is yeah again why I think this game is just so exciting and action-packed because everyone everyone is running for that objective trying to get their kill streaks and other points and whatnot I think it I so honestly I have to disagree with that guy I don't think many any of you would know him he's quite a smaller youtuber but um yeah I just have to say this has got to be one of the most high action games yet to be honest and I just know that it's going to be an awesome year to come playing this game, non-stop I guess. But anyway, thanks for taking the time out of your day to listen up to this commentary guys. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!